Playing with Fire, Episode 2, Encrypted Vengeance. The building shuddered again as another explosion reverberated through the walls. Tara's heart pounded in her chest, but she forced herself to focus on the screen in front of her. Shadow Wraith's taunting message glowed ominously, a stark reminder of the formidable adversary she faced. Lucian loomed over her shoulder, his presence a constant reminder of the stakes. Who is the hell is Shadow Wraith? he demanded, his voice a low growl. Tara's fingers hesitated on the keyboard. He was my mentor, she said quietly, her mind flashing back to the years she had spent under his tutelage. When my parents died, I was lost. I fell into the wrong crowd and started hacking to survive. Shadow Wraith found me, took me under his wing. He taught me everything I know about coding, hacking, survival in the digital underground. Lucian's eyes narrowed. And now he's attacking us? Tara nodded. He disappeared years ago, after a job went wrong. We were supposed to bring down a corrupt corporation, but it turned out to be a setup. He vanished, left me to deal with the fallout. I thought he was dead. She glanced at Lucian, seeing the scepticism in his eyes. He's not just a hacker, Lucian. He's a ghost. He can infiltrate any system, leave no trace. If he's here, it means he has a plan. And it's not just to take you down, it's to destroy everything. Lucian's jaw tightened. Then we stop him. What does he want? Tara shook her head. I don't know, but we need to figure it out fast. He won't stop until he gets what he's after. As she worked, she recalled the details of Shadow Wraith's teachings. He had been more than a mentor. He had been a father figure, filling the void left by her parents' deaths. His methods were ruthless, but he had a code, a twisted sense of justice that guided his actions. He believed in chaos as a means to an end, and his targets were always those he deemed corrupt or beyond redemption. But something had changed. This attack on Lucian didn't fit Shadow Wraith's usual pattern, it was too personal, too targeted. Tara had to dig deeper. Her fingers flew over the keys, accessing deeper levels of Lucian's network, searching for any clue as to why Shadow Wraith would target him. As she worked, she felt Lucian's eyes on her, the weight of his distrust and curiosity pressing down. The building shook again, closer this time. Tara knew they were running out of time. She hacked into the security feeds, trying to get a visual on the attackers. The cameras showed armed men moving through the corridors, methodically disabling Lucian's defences. They were professionals, well-coordinated and relentless. He's inside the mainframe, Tara muttered, her eyes scanning the code. He's using their attack as a distraction. He's looking for something specific. What? Lucian demanded. What is he after? Before Tara could answer, another message appeared on the screen. Still quick with the keys, ghost cipher. Let's see if you can keep up. Tara's blood ran cold. She typed furiously, trying to trace Shadow Wraith's signal, but he was too fast. He was already two steps ahead, leading her on a digital chase through the labyrinth of code. He's in the server room, she said suddenly, her eyes widening. He's going for your data, everything you have on your operations, your enemies. He wants it all. Lucian's face darkened. Then we stop him. They raced through the corridors, the sounds of gunfire and explosions growing louder. Tara's mind raced with possibilities, trying to anticipate Shadow Wraith's next move. She knew his tactics, his strategies, but this felt different, more desperate. They reached the server room, and Tara's heart sank. The door was blown open, the guards incapacitated. Inside, Shadow Wraith stood at the main terminal, his back to them. He was a tall, imposing figure, clad in black, his face obscured by a hood and mask. Step away from the terminal, Lucian commanded, his voice cold and authoritative. Shadow Wraith turned slowly, his eyes meeting Tara's. She felt a jolt of recognition and fear. Hello, Ghost Cipher, he said, his voice smooth and chilling. It's been a long time. Tara stepped forward, her resolve hardening. What are you doing, Shadow Wraith? Why are you here? He tilted his head, studying her. I've missed our little games, but this isn't just about you or him, he said, nodding towards Lucian. This is about justice. Lucian raised his gun, aiming at Shadow Wraith. Enough talk. Step away from the terminal now. 
Shadow Wraith laughed. A low, dangerous sound. You have no idea what's coming, do you? This is bigger than you, bigger than all of us. Before Tara could react, Shadow Wraith pressed a button on the terminal. The screen flashed and an ominous countdown began. You have five minutes, he said, his eyes locked on Tara's. Decide what matters most, stopping me or saving everyone else. With that, he vanished into the shadows, leaving Tara and Lucian staring at the ticking clock. The countdown to their doom had begun, and Tara knew she had to make an impossible choice. As the seconds ticked away, Tara realised the full extent of Shadow Wraith's plan. This was only the beginning. The server room was filled with the dim glow of the terminal screen, the ominous countdown ticking down second by second. Tara's heart raced as she stared at the numbers her mind working furiously to comprehend the gravity of the situation. Shadow Wraith's final words echoed in her ears. This is bigger than you, bigger than all of us. Lucian Blackwood's eyes were locked on the terminal, his face a mask of cold determination. What did he do, Ghost Cipher? What's the countdown for? Tara took a deep breath, her mind flashing back to the days when she and Shadow Wraith worked side by side. He had been a mentor, a protector, but also a deeply flawed man driven by a twisted sense of justice. He had always believed that chaos was necessary to bring down the corrupt, that sometimes you had to destroy to rebuild. But now, it seemed, his vendetta had become personal. He's initiating a data purge, Tara said, her voice steady despite the turmoil inside her. He's going to erase everything, your operations, your finances, your network. He wants to cripple you completely. Lucian's jaw tightened. Why? What did I do to him? Tara hesitated, the weight of the past pressing down on her. You didn't just become a crime lord, Lucian. You took over territories, dismantled other operations. Some of those people were connected to Shadow Wraith. He sees you as part of the corruption he's been fighting against his entire life. Lucian's eyes narrowed. And you? Why did you leave him? Tara met his gaze, her eyes filled with a mixture of pain and resolve. I left because he crossed a line. The last job we did together, he sacrificed innocent people to achieve his goal. I couldn't be part of that. I thought he was dead, but now, now he's back. And he's more dangerous than ever. The countdown continued, the seconds slipping away. Tara knew they didn't have much time. We need to stop this, she said, turning back to the terminal. I can try to reverse the purge, but I'll need your help to keep his men off me. Lucian nodded, his expression grim. Do whatever it takes. Just stop him. As Tara worked furiously at the terminal, her mind raced with memories of Shadow Wraith. He had been a brilliant hacker, but also a man consumed by his mission. He believed in tearing down the powerful to give the powerless a chance. But his methods had grown increasingly ruthless. She had admired him once, even loved him in a way but now she saw the darkness that had always lurked beneath the surface. Shadow Wraith, meanwhile, moved through the shadows of Lucian's building with the ease of a phantom. His plan was meticulous, years in the making. Lucian Blackwood wasn't just a target, he was a symbol of everything Shadow Wraith despised. The corruption, the exploitation, the ruthless pursuit of power at any cost. And now, with Tara involved, it was also about unfinished business. He reached another terminal, accessing deeper layers of Lucian's network. He knew Tara would try to stop him, and he was counting on it. This was as much a test for her as it was a mission for him. He wanted to see if she still had the skills, the resolve, to face him. And if she failed, well, the world would be rid of another piece of its corruption. Back in the server room, Tara's fingers flew over the keys her eyes scanning lines of code. She could feel the pressure of time, the weight of Shadow Wraith's expectations. He had always pushed her, challenged her, and now he was forcing her to confront him in the most brutal way possible. Lucian's voice broke through her concentration. How much longer? Almost there, she said, her voice tight with focus. I just need a few more seconds. But the countdown continued, relentless. Tara's heart pounded as she executed the final commands, her breath held in anticipation. The screen flickered, then stabilised. She had done it. She had stopped the purge, 
But the victory felt hollow, the threat far from over. Lucian's phone buzzed, and he glanced at the message, his face darkening. We have another problem. Shadow Wraith isn't just here for the data. He's planted explosives throughout the building. Tara's blood ran cold. We need to evacuate. Now. As they raced through the corridors, the building shook with another explosion. Closer this time, the walls trembled, and Tara knew they were running out of time. Shadow Wraith was forcing their hand, pushing them to the brink. They reached the main exit, but the path was blocked by debris. Lucian turned to Tara, his eyes fierce. We need another way out. Tara's mind raced, searching for an escape route. There's a maintenance tunnel in the basement. It leads to the docks. Lucian nodded. Lead the way. As they navigated the dark, narrow corridors, Tara couldn't shake the feeling that Shadow Wraith was watching, waiting. He had always been a step ahead, and now he was orchestrating a deadly game that could cost them everything. They reached the maintenance tunnel, but as they entered, the lights flickered and died. Tara's heart pounded in the darkness, the weight of their situation pressing down on her. She felt a hand on her shoulder, and Lucian's voice was low and urgent. Stay close. We can't afford to lose each other now. As they moved through the tunnel, a cold, mechanical voice echoed through the darkness. Hello, Ghost Cipher. Welcome to the final level. Tara froze, her blood running cold. Shadow Wraith's voice was calm, almost amused. You've done well to get this far, but the game isn't over yet. The lights flickered back on, revealing Shadow Wraith standing at the end of the tunnel, a remote in his hand. You have a choice, Tara. Save yourself or save your sister. Behind him, a screen lit up, showing Jody tied up in a room rigged with explosives. Tara's heart clenched with fear and anger. You have five minutes, Shadow Wraith said, his voice cold and unyielding. Make your choice. Lucian Blackwood's eyes burned with defiance as he stared at Shadow Wraith, who stood at the end of the maintenance tunnel, his dark figure barely illuminated by the flickering lights. Tara stood frozen beside him, her fear palpable, but Lucian was not one to be cowed by threats, no matter how dire. Enough of your games, Shadow Wraith, Lucian growled, stepping forward. If you think you can intimidate me, you're mistaken. Shadow Wraith's eyes glinted with amusement behind his mask. Always the defiant one, Lucian. But this isn't about intimidation, this is about choices. Lucian's gaze shifted to the screen showing Jody, tied up and surrounded by explosives. His mind raced. Shadow Wraith wanted him to break, to show weakness. But Lucian knew the stakes. He needed to stay composed, to turn the tables. Tara, Lucian said, his voice steady. Get to Jody. I'll handle this. Tara hesitated, her eyes filled with uncertainty. Lucian, we can't split up. He's expecting that. Lucian's expression hardened. I know, but if we're going to save her, we need to divide his attention. Trust me. Tara nodded reluctantly and took off down a side corridor, leaving Lucian to face Shadow Wraith alone. The two men stood in a tense standoff, the air crackling with unspoken threats. You think you can win this, Blackwood? Shadow Wraith taunted. You think your bravado will save you? Lucian's lips curled into a cold smile. It's not about winning. It's about surviving, and I've survived worse than you. With a swift motion, Lucian drew a hidden knife from his boot and lunged at Shadow Wraith. The hacker was quick, but Lucian's reflexes were honed from years of navigating the brutal underworld. They clashed, the tunnel echoing with the sound of their struggle. Meanwhile, Tara navigated the zigzag passages of Lucian's underground complex, her heart pounding. She reached the lower levels, the sounds of distant explosions blasted through the walls. She found the room where Jody was being held, the door slightly ajar. Inside, Jody was bound to a chair, her eyes wide with fear, but also a spark of defiance that mirrored her sisters. Tara rushed to her, her hands trembling as she worked to untie the knots. Tara, Jody whispered, her voice trembling. I was so scared. I know, Jody, Tara said, her voice soothing. We're getting out of here, just hold on. But as she freed Jody, the door slammed shut behind them, and the room plunged into darkness. 
Tara's heart raced as she heard the click of a lock. Shadow Wraith's voice echoed through the intercom. Did you think it would be that easy, Ghost Cipher? You disappoint me. Tara's mind raced. Shadow Wraith was always a step ahead, but she couldn't afford to let fear take hold. She needed to outthink him, to find a way to turn his own traps against him. Back in the tunnel, Lucian and Shadow Wraith continued their brutal fight. Lucian's knife slashed through the air, but Shadow Wraith dodged with uncanny agility. Lucian knew he couldn't let this turn into a battle of endurance. He needed to end it quickly. Shadow Wraith grinned behind his mask. You're getting slow, Blackwood. Age catching up with you. Lucian's eyes flashed with anger. Not slow enough to let you win. With a sudden burst of strength, Lucian slammed Shadow Wraith against the wall, pinning him with the knife at his throat. You're not as invincible as you think, he growled. But Shadow Wraith's grin widened. You forget, Lucian. This isn't about me. Lucian's grip faltered as he realised Shadow Wraith's plan. It wasn't about the fight. It was about the distraction. Tara and Jody were in danger, and Shadow Wraith had bought himself the time he needed. Lucian's radio crackled to life with Tara's voice. Lucian, we're trapped. He's rigged the room. Lucian's blood ran cold. Hold on, Tara. I'm coming. He turned back to Shadow Wraith, his eyes blazing with fury. If you've hurt them, I will make you regret it. Shadow Wraith's laugh echoed through the tunnel as he activated another switch on his remote. Good luck, Blackwood. You'll need it. With that, he vanished into the shadows, leaving Lucian to race towards the lower levels. The clock was ticking, and he knew that every second counted. As Lucian burst into the room where Tara and Jody were held, he saw the explosive devices lining the walls. His heart pounded as he assessed the situation. He needed to disarm them, but there was no time. Tara, get Jody out of here, Lucian ordered, his voice firm. I'll handle the bombs. Tara shook her head. Lucian, you can't... Go! He barked, his tone leaving no room for argument. Now! Tara grabbed Jody's hand and ran, leaving Lucian to face the ticking devices. He took a deep breath, his mind racing as he worked to disarm the bombs. He had learned to defuse explosives in his early days, but Shadow Wraith's devices were sophisticated, designed to trigger if tampered with incorrectly. The clock ticked down, each second an agonising reminder of the stakes. Lucian's hands were steady, his mind focused. He carefully cut the first wire, then the second. Sweat dripped down his brow as he reached for the final wire, his heart pounding. With a swift motion, he cut the wire. The countdown stopped and the room fell silent. Lucian exhaled, his body relaxing slightly as the immediate danger passed. But his relief was short-lived. His radio crackled again, this time with Shadow Wraith's voice. Well done, Lucian. But did you think it would be that easy? The real challenge is just beginning. Lucian's eyes narrowed. What are you planning, Shadow Wraith? Shadow Wraith's laugh was cold and hollow. You'll find out soon enough. Just know that this is far from over. As Lucian stepped out of the room, he saw Tara and Jody waiting for him. Their faces were pale, but their eyes were filled with determination. We're not done yet, Lucian said, his voice resolute. Shadow Wraith has more traps waiting, but we'll get through this, together. As they moved through the complex, Lucian's mind raced with possibilities. Shadow Wraith was playing a dangerous game, one that would require every ounce of cunning and strength they possessed. But Lucian was ready. He would face whatever came next, and he would protect those he cared about. As Lucian led Tara and Jody through the complicated corridors of his underground complex, the lights flickered ominously, and a cold, metallic voice echoed through the intercom. Congratulations on surviving the first round, Lucian. But this next challenge will test your resolve like never before. Let's see how well you fare when the stakes are your deepest secrets and your darkest fears. Suddenly, the walls around them began to shift, revealing hidden passages and traps, and Lucian realised with a chilling certainty that Shadow Wraith had turned the entire complex into a deadly maze, designed to bring them to their knees.